Hello everyone. Uh, this is Pam and John. Uh, we're back with another cooking video. Hi. So what we're doing, we're making supper. We got we got this uh what it's called um bird's eye family voila. It's in, just in a bag. Voila. Voila or whatever. But here's all the this is all the vegetables and you got vegetables yep. and um the sauce and everything like that. And what I want to doing is I'm cutting up chicken that we have uh, saved for supper. This is the leftover chicken that we showed before. Yeah. We do it in the cooking bag. Yeah, and they're uh, chicken breast. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm... also carrots and stuff in there. Carrots before. and stuffing and I got the chicken all cut up here pretty soon. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just going to add this all in here. We're going to cook that first though. Okay, oh, oh okay. we got to get the pasta and stuff done. Okay, you, okay, you can do that. I'm gonna look at how much water I got in there. What are you doing now? What? What's the video you got talk? Oh, <laughs> no, I, I, I'm just cutting up chicken while, while you're, while I'm waiting. So what, uh, what are you gonna bake? And what are you gonna put that on? Well, the bag says only do a half bag at a time. We're gonna do a whole bag. Okay. So instead of eight minutes, I'm doing twelve. Okay, and then I'm gonna try, I'm gonna sh shred all this chicken up here. Yeah. It's gonna be chicken alfredo when we're done. Yeah. With vegetables. This will should be pretty good. Yeah, we've we've had this before. It's really 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 good. And we're not doing it from scratch. So basically, just if you want to do it from scratch, you just get the ingredients. Which are in there. We got in the bag. Uh, what's in the um, Noodles. I'm going to read right now. It's a garlic seasoned white chicken with pasta and Alfredo cheese sauce with broccoli, carrots, and garden peas. Mm hmm. So actually, we're just adding the. We're adding uh, cut chicken breast with some leftover stuffing and carrots. Right. So we had last night. It was really good. A little dry, but it was really good. Yeah. Whenever you have chicken breast, you know it's going to be dry. And we just uh, made this for supper last night, and I just put them in a, um, in a cooking bag. Um, of course, we're going to have homemade, homemade breadsticks. Oh, and then yeah. breadsticks, yeah. <laughs> John's going to do a breadstick. Okay. Yeah. And there's stuffing in there. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to throw it all in there. It's all going to mix together and be like really Just cook the, the, cook the carrots in there, too, a little bit. Okay, we got our, yeah, our homemade uh, hand-rolled breadsticks done. Got the oven preheating to 425 to put them in. Hmm. I just turned it on, so it's not there. Right. I got our pan over here. Let's see on the camera a little bit. And pan got all the chicken popped up, so we're gonna put that in the pan. Just put everything in there. <coughs> the oh yeah, you can see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we'll let that let that heat up a little bit. Yeah, we'll heat up a little bit with a little bit of water in the bottom. Um, just a little tiny dog. <clears throat> tiny, like a quarter of a cup of water in the bottom. Yeah, it's already cooked, so it doesn't have to cook very long. So. Right. And here's a big noise. <laughs> and we'll just give it a little stir for a minute. Just get everything down at the bottom so it all gets warm. Mm -hmm. And you want to keep the heat high on it so that it gets hot. Mm -hmm. And it's been about five, six minutes since I turned the oven on, so I'm going to put these in there. Don't, okay. forget, don't forget about them. Okay, and then how long ago has got to be? About 10 minutes. It says 5 to 6. Right, better 10. Okay. If you do longer than 10, oh. then you have uh, hockey bucks. Oh. Yeah, they come from reverie. Okay, so the chicken is starting to cook. Yeah. And we add a little bit, um, we add a little bit of pork juice, you think? Okay. Alright, come a little closer so you see what we're doing. It's right down now. There it is. Here's the poultry seasoning. Just uh. Oh, I remembered. Uh, oh, I almost did that again. Yeah, I don't took do, the. Don't do the whole thing in there. I know. It's good, nothing good. That chicken has got it's got a really <laughs> lots of poultry seasoning on there when I uh, mm -hmm. when I did it yesterday. Okay, that's good. Okay. Anything else you want in there? 
Uh, not right now. Maybe once we get the uh, stuff going, we'll put some garlic in there. Okay. But, uh, we're just gonna fry that, and we'll, we'll come back when we get the other stuff ready and mix it all together. Hey, the microwave just went off, so we're gonna take the. Yeah, we're gonna get it out now. Stuff out. And here's what it looks like. Yeah. See all the. Uh, it's gonna hot, so I can. I'll turn this way. Yep. Can uh, see all the stuff melted in there. So now, Smell it. And let's go a second. I gotta get over here. And then we're gonna put it all in the. You got the camera. Yeah, I can't see from my back. Okay. Okay, that's good. A little more this way. Good. Got it. Right, we're just gonna dump that in there. You see, it's all liquidy and good and stuff. And you would think this pan wouldn't hold all this, but it will. And it's got it's so good for you. It's got. Oh, look at the peas and the extra carrots, and, and it's so easy to make. Yep. And give it a stir. The way we do it is easy to make, but if we made it from scratch, it would take all, a lot of time to melt all it. Okay, does it need a cover? It's actually done. Yeah, lovely. But we're going to put a cover on it for another good another good couple minutes here. We're going to wait for the breadsticks. Okay. So we're going to... that. Put the cover on. Yep. Yeah. And you will see what. Oh, well, you threw the. To the. Bag away. Okay. And check our breadsticks here. Mm -hmm. Even only for five minutes. Yeah, which is almost long enough. When the bombs are totally brown, that's when they're done. Yeah. So well, maybe about another five minutes or so to be done. Another five minutes with charcoal. But, but that's what we got going right now. There's the food going. It smells really good. Yeah. So we'll let that go. The breadsticks are done. Then we'll eat it. And then uh, in a couple hours, there'll be something else happening. But anyway. Yeah. These pans turning a little more. Yep. It yeah. switched to a, a spoon because the spoon is a little bit more uh, get mixed in here. I got one more green to add. Mozzarella cheese. And maybe a little more seasoning, maybe some garlic or something. Okay. I'll add the cheese. <coughs> you could add as much as you want, we like a lot. And. Just do it half There you go. You hear some garlic? There's no measuring, we just blew up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Another two minutes for the breadsticks and it should be done. I think they're actually done. They were almost done when I talked a minute ago. The first six out because they're, they're going to burn. Go ahead. Here. I got it. Oh, I got them. I don't want you to burn yourself. I don't burn myself either, but. Okay, wait. There they are. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to give that second set one down. Yep. Burn our car. Oh, those are good. You see the bottoms are brown. Oh, they smell good. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and we'll turn this up a little bit so we can get this heated and we yep. can eat. Yeah, the next thing I'll see will be on a plate and we'll be eating it. Okay, there's Pam getting ready at our executive dinner our table here. There's mine. I got we we'll put some cheese on the bread and make it look a little more cheesier. There's hers there. That's what it looks like. Oh, we got no what seasoning other than what we cooked into it now. And we're gonna try it. Let's see what it'll taste like. I guess uh, Pam's back in the kitchen, so I'm gonna go first. Should I kill a tree? It's on the pork. Mmm, it's awesome. You can also add some parmesan cheese on it too if you want more cheese. Got a little mozzarella cheese on it, so. That's got a lot of cheese on it, yeah. Yeah. So, we really like a lot of cheese. I think it's really, really good. Really awesome. It's really awesome. It's over here with your <laughs> Uh oh. Oh. We got 
we're going to find wine there now, so we're going to... Yeah, only thing missing is the brandy. Yeah. Have a 7 and 7. Yeah. That's pretty good right now. Yeah, we haven't drank for over 10 years, so... Yeah, neither have I. That's pretty good. Okay. So, yeah. so we're going to taste this and see what it looks like. That's good, right? Good, but hot. No? Yeah. Good. If you want the full recipe of the video or to the actual food, uh, just leave a comment below and we'll leave the uh, thing. Otherwise, just watch the video because we went step by step with everything. Oh, except for the cheese and the bread, but that's pretty simple. So, we're going to eat this now and then we'll probably watch some TV and pass out. So, if you like our video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe on the way back and uh, uh, hit the bell for our new ones, and um, as always, later.